Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by Shana's Home DIY and Crafts. In today's DIY project, I'll be showing you how I create this beautiful baby name sign. If you want to see how I do so, keep on watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please go ahead and do so. Also make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be the first to get my next upload. So we're starting off with an 18 inch wood round. I purchased this wood round from the Home Depot. I'm gonna be mixing three different colors of paint and these are some Appleberry paint. They're from Walmart and they're only 50 cent each. I'm gonna be using my Matcha Stewart along with those. A little plate, a popsicle stick, and we're gonna get started. And of course, I can't forget the water as I'm gonna go ahead and thin these paint down while I mix. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be removing that tag off the wood and I'm just going to use my heat gun to heat, heat that up so it can remove easily. I'm going to be using my small paint stand. I call them paint stand. Um, you use those to place small items that you're painting. On. So I got those off Amazon a few years ago. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using a piece of cloth and I'm just a oh, cotton. It's an old t-shirt. I took a piece of old t-shirt and I'm just going to dip it in the water and dip it in the paint and I'm just going to wipe it right across like I'm staining it. So I'm just gently wiping my hands across while I'm painting guys. I'm not putting any pressure, I'm just lightly going across. You want to make sure you get the side of your wood run as well. So I'm going on the side and I'm not going to be doing the back guys. It makes no sense to me it's waste of material and the back won't be showing. Being that I'm not painting the back side of my sign, I want to make sure that I try not to get any paint where it's too messy back there. A little is okay, but too much is like, no, it's not acceptable. I do sell these um, signs, so you want to make it look as professional as possible. Now that I'm all done painting my wood, I'm going to leave it to dry for overnight. As you guys can see, yes, I'm in my PJs. So now we're on to day number two. I just got out of work and I got to finish this sign. So I'm still wearing my scrub. This is the decal that I'm going to be putting on the sign. Um, so um, you may be wondering why does it's all over the mat like that if you're first time using Cricut. If you're not first time using Cricut, I'm pretty sure you know why. So my mat is only 12 by 12 and my lettering wouldn't fit. So I had to separate the A from the rest of the name, baby's name. So. Now I'm going to use my transfer tape and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take that transfer tape off and I'm going to put that over my letter, my word in. Guys, I use these transfer tape like a um, hundred times or a million times. I just keep saving them and reusing them. You can save them. Don't throw them away. Um, and I'm using pieces and I'm just joining them on. <laughs> You'll see as we go along that I'm using different pieces of transfer tape, you know, to, um, get to these letters you guys can see for the A I'm using two different pieces so 
so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to clean my wood with 91 percent alcohol guys i'm doing this because i want my vinyl to be able to stick to the wood and the, the alcohol will clean off any type of residue that's on the wood if there's any residue or stuff like that on the wood then it might be a problem to get the decal to stick to the wood So now I'm just going to use my tape measurement. I'm going to find the center of my wood, which is going to be 9, 2, 9 is 18. That's where I'm pointing. And then I just want to make sure from there I have the correct. It's 9 and 9. Then I'm just going to go ahead and start putting down my decal. So I'm sl slightly or gently hovering my decal over the wood before I press it down. Make sure it's lined up in the proper place where I want it to be. And I'm going to use my little squeegee and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to burnish that on the wood. I'm just rubbing right across to make sure it stick. Once I'm done burnishing my um, vinyl on the wood, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel off my transfer tape. And as you guys can see, I am saving my transfer tape because it's going to be another use again. Okay, guys, so you could save transfer tape by reusing it. Don't throw it out on the first use. I mean, if it gets messy or it gets a lot of stuff on the back, then go ahead and throw it out because you might have problem for your next use. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place my A. After adding the baby's name to the sign, I took it outside and I used, um, I used sorry, I can't talk, a Mod Podge sealer to seal the sign. I leave it to dry for an hour and now I'm going to add my floral arrangement to the sign. I'm going to be using some pink and white floral. Guys, please don't ask for the name of these floral because I am horrible at names of flowers. I just know they're pretty and I use them, but I think these are some kind of roses. All the items that I'll be using in today's DIY project will be in my description box below so feel free to go ahead and check that out. I'm going to use my hot glue and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to be gluing these floral and greenery to the, um, the sign. Sorry, I can't talk today. What's wrong with me? Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat the same step to the opposite side of the name sign. And this is what my name sign or nursery name sign turns out to look like. If you enjoy watching this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Also, make sure you share this video with your friends and family. This way they won't miss out.
Now remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Until next time, be blessed.